1911 is not drop safe. It's what everyone on the internet is saying now. The staccato is not drop safe. Well, I, I hate to break it to you guys, but everyone has known that literally since the gun was invented over 100 years ago. The staccato and any other 1911 that is a Series 70 or, you know, 1911 style gun has a free floated firing pin. What that means is the firing pin just sits in here and rides in a little channel and has a spring that pushes it to the rear so your hammer can slap it. The hammer hitting the firing pin drives it forward and then it protrudes out of the breech face of your slide and hits the round. These guns will fire when dropped onto the muzzle. It's plain as day. If you have enough inertia driving the gun downward, that firing pin is going to have enough oomph that's probably going to overcome the spring and potentially set off the primer, thus setting off the round. These guns have been this way since the beginning of time. Fun fact, guys, before U2 existed, people were talking about this on forums as well. The 1911 isn't drop safe. They were going over titanium firing pins. They were trying to lighten the firing pins up, and then they discovered that the firing pins were eroding because they just couldn't handle that kind of abuse, and so they just kind of moved back to steel ones again. Uh, but yeah, fun fact, the, the, the spring in all of that is there just to keep the firing pin to the rear so that the hammer can hit it. It is not to make it drop safe. Now the real question is, people mentioned in my previous video when I talked about my EDC being a staccato, was I worried about it being drop safe? Well, yes and no. Um, I do think that being having a safe firearm is important. Uh, I do think that the 1911 is a safe platform. The fact that the firearm will discharge when hitting the ground is not ideal. However, there are a lot of other guns that have free floated firing pins. Looking at the AR-15, for example, it doesn't have a firing pin stop, guys. That, free that firing pin is just kind of sitting in there. And then when the hammer hits it, it just drives it into the primer. So I guess today what we're going to do is we're going to find out how drop safe a staccato P is. Now, I'm not going to be dropping it on a concrete because I do care about the gun a little bit. Liar! Liar! However, I will be dropping it onto a sheet of plywood behind me, uh, and that sheet of plywood is large enough. It should disperse a lot of the energy into the ground. I do think that this is an adequate test. I'm going to be dropping it from shoulder height. Another thing I'm really curious about is the weapon light. If that is going to affect how drop safe a 1911 or 2011 is. If it strikes the weapon light, will it change the axis of rotation enough that the inertia will get interrupted? So we're gonna find that out as well. I'm gonna be dropping it on the weapon light and I'll remove the weapon light and we'll try again. Without further ado, let's pull a bullet and get to work. Try not to mess the case up as much as possible. And give her a wiggle here and start pulling. Nope, there's angry sand all over me. <sighs> okay, so pulled the bullet out. See it right there. Nice little total metal jacket, 124 grain. And I've got this casing here with a nice CCI primer in it. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in this gun here. All right, so as you guys see, there is a piece of brass in the chamber. There is no bullet. However, we're going to try dropping it with the safety on. This shouldn't technically affect anything because the free floating firing pin doesn't get interrupted by the safety. So we're gonna try dropping with the safety on. Theoretically, if everything goes according to internet lore plan, this should discharge. And if not, we'll just kind of go from there. So we're gonna start safety on, then go safety off, then remove the weapon light, safety on, and then safety off. Staccato 2011, manual safety on, a piece of primed brass in the chamber. We're gonna see if it is drop safe uh, from shoulder height. This is on to the weapon light. Put a nice dent in the uh, piece of plywood there. Hit the weapon light square on, as I'll show you from that camera angle there. And uh, Let's see, let's see how we look here. Did not even touch, didn't even touch the primer. Wow. Well, not gonna lie to you. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to at least touch the primer a little bit, but it doesn't really look like there was anything on it. Again, manual safety off. Wow, that was 
was a nice dent in the nice dent in it again there. Let's try again. All right, so it doesn't really look like there's much. All right, so we're gonna try again. No weapon light this time. Manual safety on, directly on the muzzle, shoulder height. Oof. I was right onto the muzzle and front sight. Oh, good thing I really don't use it anyways. I'm actually kind of scared now. Wow, it was a little crooked. Let's try one more time. All right, right on the muzzle, manual safety off. Oh, that was a good hit right there. As you see, that didn't work. Does not look like it really had much of an impact. Ever so slightly got touched, I think, but not much. So something people also aren't taking into consideration is the fact that most of the time when your gun falls, it's not falling directly onto the muzzle. And yes, if it does discharge and it's on concrete, could potentially cause an issue, but I think the majority of the situations that you're going to be dropping a firearm, if a firearm does get dropped in an accident or something like that, is going to come out at an angle or down like this. So we're going to go ahead and try again. Safety off. All right. Let's try again. Um, safety off again. Everything still works just fine. Now, I really can't get this thing to go off and I'm kind of curious what's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, I think I'm gonna drop it on concrete, guys. I really didn't wanna have to do this, but uh, my curiosity is getting the best of me. Hopefully it doesn't bork my crown on my muzzle up or anything like that, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, well, I really didn't wanna have to do this, uh, but uh, I'm curious, so. Here we go. Safety off. Right on the muzzle. She went off. Right on the muzzle. Does not look as though my muzzle got jacked up too bad. Slide has a little scuff on it, but nothing that a little bit of uh, a diamond file can't take off. You see right here, it's pretty light, but there is a primer strike. That was just enough to set off that primer. But yeah, staccatos aren't drop safe. This is nothing new. This has been something that everyone has known that knows anything about these guns for a very, very long time. So uh, get off of Reddit, get off of YouTube, Go shoot your guns, guys. It doesn't really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. I'm going to keep carrying this thing. I knew that that was going to happen. Well, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. Uh, it was not easy for me to drop this gun. I don't have the expendable income to be doing that kind of thing. I'm not Grand Thumb getting paid by uh, SDI or anything like that. Well, without further ado, I'm going to be telling you guys the thing that I've been telling everyone uh, this whole time. It doesn't really matter what you have. Just get out and train with it. You're going to be a lot better off training with a gun that you have versus one that you want or you know, hype about or dream about on the internet or whatever. So I definitely recommend getting out and training uh, with whatever gun you have, as long as it's not a SIG, and uh, we'll call it a day. If you guys like this content, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. It was not easy for me to do that to this gun. Uh, I do like it an awful lot. I'm going to keep carrying it because uh, it's a good gun, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.